smartphones will control the big electrical items we have in our homes. Our business editor Joel Hills reports on the £3.7 billion merger. Dixon's is Britain's biggest electricals retailer, selling everything from televisions to kettles and computers. Carphone warehouse shifts, not car phones, but mobiles and tablet computers, 11 million of them every year. The two are coming together to create a business with annual sales of £11 billion. With greater size comes greater savings, £80 million we're told. But no stores will close, no jobs will be lost. In fact, the new group will recruit for the digital age. I think this is a sort of magic time. Uh, we are beginning to be genuinely connected in our homes, in the wearables that we wear, and everything that we're doing is being remote controlled through, through this phone. The belief here is that everything in our homes, the fridge, the freezer, the washing machine, the central heating, will increasingly be controlled by a smartphone. It may be the digital future, but in the digital present, four in ten adults don't own one. And six in ten people over the age of 65 don't use the internet at all. The technology may exist to do impressive things using tablet computers, but what matters is whether people will pay for it. But you're taking a bet on what the future looks like. Yes. You might be wrong. Yes, but w what is business if not that? You know, we, we think we can shape the future. We think we can help uh, let people become the author of their own lives. He sounds convinced, but shares in both companies closed down sharply this evening. This merger is being presented as a revolution, but if it goes ahead, in truth, most shoppers won't notice any difference at all. Behind the scenes, though, Dixon's car phone would have considerable buying power, which should help the group better compete with the internet retailers that have put so many high street names out of business in recent years. Joel Hills, ITV News.